Hey guys, welcome to this another Tech Byte with Cloud Data. Let's talk about BigQuery denormalization today, along with nested and repeated data columns. Uh, so originally, when we create a table uh, in spreadsheet or Excel, uh, you will see that mostly we try to optimize it by avoiding the uh, repetition and making, of course, making it more visually organized and good looking by merging the uh, you know fields together. So if you see this example uh, where we have this table representing the students enrollment for a course uh, Edward has taken multiple courses like Google Cloud Architect, DevOps, Terraform So instead of repeating Edward as well as his student ID multiple times We have actually merged it and only use it single time. This is how we tra traditionally do it in Excel but when you talk about the transactional databases like SQL, uh, we have to normalize the data and make it, uh, you know, to be able to use it. Otherwise, SQL does not understand this or, you know, this is something which is not supported in SQL. Now, also, not only uh, we have to normalize this, but in fact, we also have to create multiple tables sometimes to break the data, uh, the original data and make it uh, queryable it, it can be queried easily so if you see this example we have broken down or broken down the data into two tables one is one table is for just the enrollment which talks about which student id got enrolled on which date so here we have two columns date and student id and student id being one of a sort of primary key there is another another table that we can create uh, and talk about the student id mapping to the course name and the progress being done so thus we have this process itself is called normalization in which we break down a you know table from let's say spreadsheet or excel into multiple tables and to make sure that we don't have the data to be repeated we do you know the step now let's talk about denormalization. Now denormalization is of course the strategy of joining the table. So uh, in the above example, I show you two table. So it actually joins those two table together. And of course, when we talk about joining, uh, they would be duplicate data for sure. So we are not concerned about that duplicate data, but what we are looking at to gain, we are looking to gain the processing performance. So we do agree that the flattened data that, that we talk about the joint table, will take more storage because they will be repeating and redundant data. But the denormalization that we are talking about will uh, also enable BigQuery especially to make it more efficient in terms of distributing uh, the processing amongst multiple slots, which will actually lead it to parallel processing and of course better query performance. So the denormalization is the way any data that you would like to actually load into BigQuery would always like to denormalize it that is join now the only issue with the with this is if you have multiple tables and the table size is large then joining the tables might actually be a very difficult or a complex task but we have already talked about the advantages that BigQuery uh, due to its massive parallel processing would be able to take query or the take advantage of the uh, processing gain right now let's talk about how a denormalized flattened table would look like so here if you see we were having two students edward and fiona and their multiple courses so what we are having here so student name so all the both the normalized tables are being uh, combined here uh, they are being joined and if you see there are certain uh, row in which there are the field the fields are repeating so fiona i can see is repeated three times similarly Edward is repeated three times so the student ID also 101 101 is repeated three times as well as 104 so these are the repeating records but what it gives you a single table a single table where the query can be done in a faster way there would be a better performance this is true to some extent uh, not all the databases might be able to take uh, help, you know, advantage of this because if there are multiple tables in large table, then joining itself would be very complex and heavy task. How BigQuery solve this problem is by actually using something called a nested and repeated data column. So here, unlike SQL, BigQuery supports something called a nested and repeated data. So here, if you see this column, uh, student ID, we have been able to uh, you know merge it like, like a merge operation though merge is not the correct word but the repeated data that is 101 is 
actually taken one time and then there is a nesting so nesting for the further column similarly here also we see that repeated data is taken one time and then there is a further nesting to allow a very comprehensive way of doing this so if i repeat we have, well, if you have multiple tables uh, and uh, you know for a data then joining is costly it would be comprehensive and costly uh, but if you go for a single table then data is repeated and storage cost is high so th there is a trade off that you have to see uh, while designing the schema but with bigquery you are able to take that advantage of nested and repeated data which gives you still you are able to take an advantage of denormalization so in general you will do need uh, normalization of data especially if you are doing sql but for uh, bigquery cases denormalization along with nested and repeated data actually makes a lot of sense now the way uh, we do repeated and uh, nested data columns in bigquery is done through uh, array in sql so there, there is a repeated uh, schema mode whereas if you talk about struct in sql for nested there is a record uh, data type uh, in schema for bigquery that is how you will be able to use the nested and repeated data that is just from the schema perspective otherwise from visualization you must have already seen that this data uh, has been done in a similar way where, where you see a spreadsheet where merging is done so this is a nested data in terms that there is a single uh, entry and along with that you have certain column which are nested along with this right thanks for joining i'll see you next time